Wow. Just thinking of what my dad must have been going through in his mind when he was 16 years old. He dropped out of school, not finishing eighth grade, going to the racetrack, trying to make a living at the racetrack. My grandmother drags him down to the shoe factory. Started off sweeping floors and cleaning places. Had a revelation, decided to start his own shoe company. And what time has passed has been something that uh, our family could only dream about. And when we first got our building in 1965, all the machinery coming by land, by sea. Five kids we were up pitching in, painting the walls putting it all together one piece at a time. A year later opened up and made the very first pair of vans. Lots of hard work, lots of great people, and I guess a dream. I just had a dream. I mean, skateboarding was so under the radar of mainstream, we were just our own little thing. So you really held on to things that were for you. When skateboarders are developing skateboarding, band shoes were the tools on our feet to develop it. So they've just grown together. And they've been there from the start. And that hasn't changed. They've always told me just to stay true to what I want and to just live the lifestyle that I want. I just got to stay true to what I'm doing. Well, I think if a brand gives you the freedom to be yourself, that just shows that they care about you. It's a catch-22 when it comes to a company when you're trying to start out and make a product and become successful and that success can steer who you're trying to uh, please. To keep the core and, and keep that heart and that faith and that belief system of what you stand for, people uh, will see that and admire that. People really respect loyalty. Because we're in a business where you're told one thing and then the next day it turns into something else, you have certain people that you believe in. You have certain people that you rely on. You have certain people that you know that you can count on. When you're stripped of everything you've got, you find out who your real friends are and who your family is. I mean, our company has that family value and the family value that we have, it's not based on what can I get. It's based on what can I give. I mean, Steve Van Dorn is like a brother. You know, he was the guy that I used to go to to get one shoe at a time. He was the guy that basically believed in my ability as a skateboarder, but also in that my heart as a human being was in a good place. There are individuals, there are creative people, and they need to be able to celebrate them. And Vans allows you to be an individual, and they will celebrate you. I think everybody feels as though um, that that's part of the reason why we've been so successful. We're successful in business because we haven't sold out. They see the authenticity and they want to be part of it. It's been so wonderful seeing what's happened over the last 46 years from the very first pair, the very first factory to where we are today, selling our shoes in over 170 countries and having riders all over the world, salespeople all over the world. That, that dream 46 years ago is still alive. The spirit of uh, the people are all still there.